People have always kept track of time using tools ranging from sundials to modern clocks. However, there are a few flaws with our common clocks. They're not accurate enough or precise enough for our modern world. Over time, small inconsistencies in clocks make them inaccurate. They literally lose time. So what happens when our clocks grow out of sync? When they fail us. Don't stress. Scientists have already come up with a clock so accurate that over 300 million years, it won't lose a single second. Let me introduce you to the atomic clock. Wait, we need to make a detour. All clocks have a frequency reference, something that has a constant oscillation. Grandfather clocks, for example, have pendulums that swing back and forth, where one complete swing marks one second. In more modern clocks, the frequency reference or pendulum is quartz. When electricity passes through quartz, it vibrates at an exact frequency. Quartz is also piezoelectric, meaning when stressed, it generates an electrical current. This electrical current combined with the vibrations from the quartz generate constant electrical pulses. Atomic clocks use atoms as pendulums. All atoms of the same element have the same natural vibrational frequency. They vibrate at the same rate. In most cases, atomic clocks use cesium-133 atoms. Atoms also have energy states. Atoms in the lowest energy state have electrons in the ground state. When radiation hits atoms, the electrons become excited and jump energy levels. When the radiation has the same frequency as the atoms, the atoms resonate and more shift to an excited state. These excited electrons release the extra energy by emitting photons, or packets of light before settling back in their original state. This is an atomic clock. Cesium atoms start from the cesium oven. Lasers then cool them to almost zero Kelvin to get them into the ground state. Excited cesium atoms have a different magnetic field than ground state atoms, so magnets can sort any excited atoms out. They then enter the microwave cavity, where microwaves at a specific frequency hit the cesium to excite them. Magnets sort out the ground state atoms, and the excited atoms are cooled down by lasers, releasing light. A detector absorbs this light. Electrical pulses from a piece of quartz dictate the frequency of the microwaves. These microwaves are then counted to mark when a second has passed. A second is defined as this many waves. It's based off the natural frequency of a cesium-133 atom. The pulses from the quartz are the most accurate when the light absorption is the highest. So if the light absorption is too low, the quartz will be tapped or zapped to increase the light absorption and microwave frequency. This self-adjusting feedback loop is what makes the atomic clock so accurate. This precision timekeeping is needed for essential infrastructure like satellites, the power grid, and cell phones. By using atomic physics, scientists have created an impeccable clock. And now, we won't lose any more time.